Star Wars The Force Awakens has swept across the U.S., becoming the highest grossing movie of all time and bringing in, by the way, almost $800 million. It could even hit $1 billion, according to some analysts. Meanwhile, on a continent not so far away, Star Wars is a much less powerful force. The franchise premieres tomorrow in China, but it's not expected to break any box office records. Why? Well, let's ask Jonathan Papish. He's an industry analyst at China Film Insider and BoxOffice.com. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, why? Why will it not do well in China? Well, certainly. Um, so uh, it actually just opened in China. Um, the midnight screenings just started, so they're underway. Um, and they're looking at about $2.7 million for the midnights. Why it won't do well in China, um, I'm thinking that the market is just not there yet for China. Um, you're looking at the boom in the box office is mostly in the third and fourth tier cities. Um, so you're looking at uh, the interior cities in China. Um, and they haven't been exposed to the franchise as much as, say, here in the West. There's just a lack of brand awareness about Star Wars, isn't there? I mean, do people even know that it's linked to Disney? Um, I think that they're beginning to see that awareness, and Disney really is pushing um, the marketing of this film. I mean, um, Disney's super successful in Asia and in China. Disney is super successful, um, and so I think they're trying to connect that Star Wars brand with the Disney brand. What makes a successful movie in China versus, say, one here in the U.S.? What's the right ingredient? Um, big spectacle uh, set piece films. Um, you're looking at blockbuster, um, big budget blockbusters, popcorn movies, I would say. Um, the story is not all that important to Chinese <laughs> moviegoers yet. They're, they're not as mature moviegoers as, say, us. Um, so that would be the, the, the big uh, pull of the movie. So you're also looking at celebrity culture. Um, so fans will go and line up and go the first night of the, to the movie if uh, their favorite fan is in uh, the film. You forgot one thing. For movies with storylines, you need a sad ending because everything has to be sad. You can't have a happily ever after. Well, then Chinese this movie is perfect. Oh, okay. See, spoiler alert. But yeah, it. But, but the point being is that like everything you mentioned, Star Wars really does have. So uh, what do you expect Disney to say undergo over the next year while we're waiting for the next Star Wars movie to come out so they can capitalize on all of that in China? Right. I think they'll still be pushing. Um, this, this guy, they hired a, a cultural ambassador. His name is Lu Han. He's a, a South Korean. He went over to South Korea and studied music there and came back to China. He's a big boy band. Um, and so fans will come out just to see Lu Han. So I think he's going to continue to be the face of Star Wars in China, pulling in these younger fans, pulling in the third and fourth tier city fans. Um, and I think that you'll see that moving forward. What movies have done well? What franchises or blockbusters here in the U.S. have translated really well to the Chinese market? Sure. Well, the, the highest grossing Hollywood film in China is Furious 7. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a whole different bunch of factors that contributed to that. Paul Walker's death, um, mm -hmm. cars in general, the car culture in China. Um, you're not going to see that level of uh, fandom in China with Star Wars. Um, you've also seen Transformers. Uh, that's a big franchise, as well as the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. Well, I was going to say, because the Avengers uh, last movie, a whole scene was shot uh, in Asia that really had no point being shot, right, just exactly. supposed to be shot in Asia. Does the film need to be shot in Asia with Asian actors in any capacity uh, for, say, China to be really interested? Yeah, I think you can do it a little bit more subtly than, say, like Iron Man 3 or Transformers 4. <laughs> um, and I think Star Wars is doing that. Um, they can really work in Chinese elements into the, the universe. I mean, the master and the apprentice. Mm. Uh, BB-8 is, uh, he's, he's a little cute droid. I think he's going to play very well with uh, Chinese moviegoers. So yes, I think, I think they will.